This cold weather is hard on your for furnace, and if it breaks down, you notice right away. Kelloland Sarah McDonald has some advice to keep the heat on. This cold snap across Kelloland means Wayne Lemke has been very busy. As a service technician for JNR Mechanical, part of his job is making sure people's furnaces are running properly. We'll get a lot more calls when it's cold. It seems like they're um, either not keeping up or people are forgetting about changing their filters and things like that are a real common thing. With the extreme cold, JNR Mechanical President Josh Chapman says the office has been getting a lot of calls. A lot of furnaces are not able to keep up to the set points they're trying to get to. So we probably recommend maybe lowering your thermostat just a little because if you walk in and you know it's 68 degrees and you bump it up to 80, the air out of the vents is not going to get warmer. Um, so you want to you want to try to find a temp that your house can maintain. He says the first cold snap of the season is usually the busiest, but that doesn't mean those calls don't keep coming. This late in the year, usually what's broke or what's going to break has already been broke and fixed, and uh, yeah, so it's it's tough to tell. It's uh, equipment decides to break when whenever it, it's ready. So that's why he recommends getting maintenance done before the cold weather strikes. Change your filter. You the filter. That's probably a, every 90 days is kind of, you know, the rule of thumb. And, uh, yeah, that maintenance is key to make sure uh, all your parts pieces are cleaned um, and ready for the extreme cold. In T, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News. Chapman says people are also dealing with high gas prices this year. He recommends finding a temperature to keep your house at so your furnace is not constantly running.